I have another viewer video request, and that is, where is the autocomplete for our Microsoft Outlook? Well, if we go into Microsoft Outlook, autocomplete basically it allows you to type in just a couple of letters for any user you may have sent email to before in the past, and it will automatically complete the rest of that person's email address. So that way you don't have to remember what it is exactly. And when you get a new computer, it's like, hey, how do I move this from one to the other? Well, I can show you how to do that here. So here is my Outlook. And when I go to click on a new mail message, just to make sure my autocomplete's working, if I type in Mary, for instance, and we say, let's take a look for where Mary is. Mary comes right up, and I'll send Mary a test, and click send. Now I'll click again, all I have to do is type MA, and look at that, it finds Mary. So we know our autocomplete is working. So where is that autocomplete? Well, if we go into File Explorer and we go to the C drive, you want to look for the Users folder. Now, it used to be an NK2 file, in case you've been looking up on older versions of Outlook, but this one is no longer an NK2 file. It's harder to find. So I'll double-click on Users. And now I know I've logged in as the administrator, so I'll go ahead and double-click on Administrator. Now, you need to look for this folder. It's kind of grayed out just a little bit. Uh, it's called App Data. If you don't see it, it means that your hidden files are not turned on. So you have to click at View at the top and check the box that says Hidden Files. Then App Data will appear. Double click on App Data. Then you have several different profiles to choose from. You want to choose the local profile. Then you want to go down to where it says Microsoft and choose Microsoft. And now you want to go to Outlook. Here's Outlook. And here's where it differs from older versions of Outlook. In the 2013 and older, you'll see an NK2 file right in the root of this folder. That is your autocomplete file. And you can copy that and paste it to uh, your new computer or any other computer that needs to have a copy of it. But in 2016 and 2019, we need to go to the Rome cache folder. And in that, we need to look for the autocomplete file. So here it is, stream underscore autocomplete, and it ends in a .dat. This is our file. So what we want to do is we want to copy that file and paste it into the exact same location in your new computer. And this also works if you have other users that just want a copy of the file so they don't have to go through caching all those users as well. If they already have a DAT file, make sure you delete their DAT file before you input yours. And of course, it'll overwrite uh, anything that they have. So make sure that they're OK with that first. So that's how you find your autocomplete file and how to copy and paste it in Outlook 2016, 2019, and newer versions as they come out.